This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, February the 18th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Satellite image this morning shows we have a good deal of clouds over uh, much of the uh, eastern half of the southeastern United States and even over parts of Louisiana and Mississippi. While it may look clear, it's actually got a good deal of fog. Surface map this morning features a large high pressure system that is actually out in the Atlantic off the southeast U.S. coast, but is bringing good southerly flow and moisture into the southeastern U.S. And then in the upper atmosphere, we have a nice closed low situated over uh, the western side of Missouri this morning. That closed low will be migrating further uh, to the east and should be ending the rain uh, during the late morning and early afternoon. Fairly mild across much of the United States. The, the blue color is actually the area below freezing, or freezing and below, I should say. And uh, so it's uh, pretty uh, mild across much of the United States. We're very mild across uh, central Alabama with temperatures generally in the lower 50s. We do have a bit of a warm front along the uh, Gulf Coast where temperatures are actually uh, around 60 degrees. Radar showing that uh, much of the rain is moving out as that uh, uh, upper closed low over Missouri begins to um, move across the area today. The watch warning map is actually pretty clear across the eastern two-thirds of the country, but we have a lot of um, watches and warnings in terms of flash flooding going on across California and the southwestern United States as that weather system comes in. Rainfall over the next five days through uh, Thursday morning will uh, feature the rain today as well as some rain uh, once again on Tuesday and then the uh, rain coming in uh, late Thursday. That's not actually included here but it looks like on the order of a half to one inch with the higher amounts over southwest Alabama. Storm Prediction Center has thunderstorms outlooked over the southeastern U.S. Uh, but no severe weather. And uh, we see a slight risk of severe weather over north central Texas in the vicinity of Wichita Falls and the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex on day two, that's Sunday. And day three, Monday, we have uh, some thunderstorms ahead of the front uh, that will be coming across the U.S. All right, the 06C GFS model run this morning. And there's our closed low that's moving across the southeastern U.S. today. And uh, that should be sweeping much of the rain away from us uh, so the rain will be diminishing late morning and early afternoon i think uh, probably for most of us the rain should be over by this afternoon but it's going to stay cloudy we will warm up pretty quickly though uh, after uh, highs today in the lower 60s we should uh, warm up into the lower 70s or at least around 70 on sunday as we see an upper ridge that is uh, really uh, pumping up in response to that uh, uh, system coming in into northern mexico and, of course, uh, high pressure over our area. Uh, so that will keep our weather in great shape for Sunday. So great, a great Sunday for the latter part of February. On Monday, uh, that system begins to come out as we see a, a, a trough over the north-central United States, elongating down into and uh, capturing the closed low over northern Mexico on Monday. So Monday's still a good day to, uh, for us as the system begins to develop off to our west. The big day for us will be Tuesday as, uh, as that system comes through, but it's an interesting pattern that the GFS is forecasting. Uh, the trough over the western Great Lakes is going to be moving a bit faster than the portion over uh, extreme southern Texas. So the result is uh, we're going to see uh, kind of a weakening of the front across our area. So yes, I think we'll see some showers, but it's a situation where on Tuesday, not all of us will necessarily uh, get wet. Both, uh, well, the, the main trough over the Great Lakes moves quickly uh, well uh, east on uh, Wednesday. In the meantime, uh, the, the closed low over the Gulf is kind of left behind a little bit, but that should actually dry things out for us as most of the rain will be down uh, well into the Gulf of Mexico. Great weather on Thursday as we have uh, an upper ridge over the area that stays good into Friday. But in Friday, on Friday, we see that uh, a nice trough is coming across the central uh, Mississippi River Valley, and that will be producing a surface low uh, just to the south of Chicago with a, a cold front trailing across the lower Mississippi River Valley. Uh, Storm Prediction Center is not uh, outlooking any uh, severe weather risks that far out just yet. One of the reasons for that is the ensemble model uh, runs are quite different. So, uh, 
you know, it, we, we have to have the right recipe. And so it's one of those situations where we need to keep our eye on this one to be sure that uh, we don't see a severe weather situation develop uh, in the future model runs. By Saturday at midday, the trough has moved by us and uh, is uh, exiting the uh, east coast of the U.S., and that means that the front and the surface low, uh, the surface low will be well up into uh, southeastern Canada, and the front will be off the U.S. coast, so we should be cooling down, um, still above where we normally are for this time of year, but certainly a little bit cooler, with highs uh, next Saturday, probably in the lower 60s. All right, looking out into voodoo country, we do have another uh, trough moving by, uh, the uh, primary trough over the southern Great Lakes, so it's going to give us a bit of a glancing blow, more or less dragging the front into the area. We see another very potent system around uh, Thursday, the 2nd of March, that's likely to give us some weather in the 2nd of March, 3rd of March time frame. And again, uh, that one has some potential look of severe weather, uh, but we'll have to just keep our eye on that one since it's way out in voodoo country. And then by the time we get out to the end of the period, around the 5th of March, uh, the GFS is very bullish on the fact that it's going to be pretty mild across the southeastern U.S. Uh, with a good ridge uh, over Texas and uh, certainly a nice southerly fetch coming all the way from the Pacific up into the lower Mississippi River Valley. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.